Okay, the next at Fakenham, race 33, the C Pigeon Handicap Hurdle over three miles and 0 to 120. Number one is She's the One, two is Olga Barasova, three Black Autumn, four Buzzer Time, five Grainy Ambient, six Sea Devil, seven Amoya Super, four Richer is eight, Quack is nine, Japan Novier is ten, and Montoya is eleven. So eleven over the three miles here at Fakenham. This crazy course that we saw from the first one. Look out for that last fence. Uh, and the horses that uh, fly through the air. So, as they settle down, come round to the first of uh, 14 hurdles. It's buzzer time, the grey that just noses in front from Four Richer. The Four Richer's going to rise, no, nope. it's buzzer time that rose first over the first flight. So it's buzzer time and Four Richer by about five to the chasing pack. Fakenham still has uh, one of the uh, only surviving gas works where they turn coal into gas in England and Wales. I still think there's one obviously in Scotland, but uh, not that there's much coal left nowadays. Let's see, going to the second. Well, there's actually a lot of coal left nowadays, but we're not allowed to use it because we make a, make a hole in the ozone. I actually think it's all the cows that cause all the carbon monoxide that actually causes the ozone layer. You'd be surprised how much uh, a cow passes wind. So they're into the third flight and they're all over it. And it's buzzer time that leads us from four richer. Then we've got Sea Devil in third. Amoya Super is four. Black Autumn is five. The outside of that is Grainy Ambience. Then we've got Montoya against the fence. Wider is Japan Nouvier. Then Quack, she's the one. So Russian Olga Barasova is in last position. But moving up now into the field. So it's buzzer time that leads us by a couple of lengths to four richer and Sea Devil. They're going to come up to the next flight. Still got over two miles to travel. It's buzzer time that leads us from four richer and Sea Devil. So to the fifth. Everybody skips over it. And just at the rear at the moment, she's the one, which is rare for a Del Hinton horse to be bringing up the rear. They usually like to front run, but uh, different tactics chosen by that jockey. So as they come into the towards the stands, a few, few, few here at Fakenham. They get to the sixth hurdle. Everybody skips over that one. There's the finishing post for the hurdle course. So maybe we won't have that uh, exciting finish as we did in the last chase. So it's four Richard and Buzzer time together. And there are a couple ahead of Sea Devil against the fence. And then we've got Amoya Super and Black Autumn. In between those is Quack as they take the seventh halfway through the hurdles. Again, a little bit closer order now. Everybody's travelling quite well. It's four richer and buzzer time. Still going over a, just under a mile and a half to travel. So halfway through the race. And it's buzzer time and four richer still. Into the eighth. We'll get closer order again. Now there probably is only eight to nine lengths from first to last. Four richers at the front. Olga Barasova is at the back. As they approach the next. It's four richer and buzzer time by a couple to Quack and Sea Devil and the Alex Cherry's horses of Amoya Super and Black Autumn and the outside is Darren House's Grainy Ambience followed through by Japan Novier Montoya, Olga Barisova and we've lost She's the One she's been pulled up as I said it was rare for a Hollywood Hinton horse to be at the back so uh, obviously may have pulled up with a bit of an injury there so they come past the, the stands again under a mile to travel. Across that dirt track. And it's still for Richard and Buzzer time. Leads us into the tenth. Both take it well. This is the remainder. Olga Barasova's just been pushed along now. Hasn't really enjoyed this course here at Fakenham. And we take this left turn, which is quite sharp. It's a hairpin. Montoya should do well. So it's buzzer time and four richer still. Buzzer time being pushed along now because we're inside the six. They get over the 11th. They've only got three more flights to, to take and it's buzzer time. 
from four richer. I'm moving now on the outside is grainy ambience. Three in the middle of the pack is quack. They take this next hairpin. And it's buzzer time. Moving on the wide, wide outside here is Japan Novier for Doug Warren. They take the twelfth. It's buzzer time that leads, but a wall of horses ganging up on him behind. With only left some four furlongs and a couple to take. It's buzzer time and quack on the inside. On the outside is Montoya and Black Alton. Sorry, Montoya's on against the fence. Looking very ominous there. As I said, should do well around these hairpins. He's going to go again, but it's taken up now by quack. Buzzer time chasing hard. As they approach, and there's we're losing one now. Olga Barasova's already been pulled up in Japan. Novier's going. They're going to the 13th, and we're being well led here by Quack, who's got a 5-6 length advantage over the rest. He's only got one flight to take, and we've got a furlong and a half left to travel. The rest have got some work to do, so it's Quack. Quack that leaves. Jockey takes a quick look round, but the rest are catching up fast here. Montoya, Buzzer Time, Sea Devil, Grainy Ambience, Black Autumn, but it's still the Quack inside the final furlong. Just the final hurdle here. He's just got to get over it, but Montoya on the inside catching him went into it slowly and Montoya on the inside's called up and it's the world of Sea Devil on the outside but Montoya sneaked around and takes it well. Montoya had a good ride as I said you'd expect him to be good on these hairpin turns and a great win there for Mr Formula One Follis. Montoya takes the Sea Pigeon handicap hurdle from Quack for Kevin Meehan in second. Third was Sea Devil Graham Clutterbuck. Fourth was Black Autumn for Alex Cherry and fifth buzzer time for Daniel French.